today on Founder Sports Made. I see solutions everywhere. Agripreneurship for me is about providing solutions. Agripreneurs in Africa are risk takers. You are not very sure whether you will get profit or, or lose everything. You need to be brave because so many questions pop up in your head. Can I do this? Will this work? They are prepared to invest their resources in a sector that is considered risky but has great potential. So when I started, actually, I was an employee of Ethiopian Airlines, and I noticed that the many Ethiopians diaspora living uh, mostly in the U.S. or in Europe, taking a lot of bags of spices. So that's when the idea hit me, where I, maybe if I start this business and if I export these products directly to their shops, they don't need to have it in their checked-in baggage. I think I'm the first woman to own a fish processing plant in my country. So I got involved in Stawi after doing uh, two other businesses because uh, I saw a need for farmers to access markets and to reduce post-harvest loss. Et nous avons un déficit alimentaire à peu près de 300 millions pour les années dans les années 2050. Il faut préparer ça aujourd'hui. Donc c'est cette crise alimentaire qu'il faut préparer. Et si on veut sortir de cette crise alimentaire assez rapidement, c'est l'agriculture et l'agribusiness. I remember reading an article uh, a couple of years ago. Most of the world's food would come from Africa. What I was thinking was, will I be able to be one of the people who will be supplying the world? Youth in Africa are graduating in numbers, but there are not enough jobs. We are promoting youth agripreneurship because this is where we see opportunities for growth in Africa. Agriculture will provide raw materials for a lot of industries, and we need to get young people to see that they can create career path for themselves in that space. It is important that we focus on skills development, giving the youth access to inputs and finance, and giving them the necessary business skills which will make them successful in agriculture and agribusiness. Women face a lot of challenges, primarily in unequal access to resources. When you go in the bank, for example, they tell you we need the corato, and most women don't own property. We are working with financial institutions to look beyond land as collateral to other forms of collateral. There is more information now available. It's not something that is for the privileged only. It's a thing for everybody. The challenge for scaling up has been access to working capital. The investors now will ask you tougher questions than what you'd get if you're a startup, but you need to keep going because that's what entrepreneurship is about. We are in a position to effect change. The community has benefited in a number of ways. Firstly, they have now stable income because they can sell to an off-taker. And then there's no exploitation because we provide them with a fair price for the bananas. We have about 72 employees. The more entrepreneurs we have, the more jobs we can give. Start small, learn as much as you can from the experiences, and surround yourself with, with the, the many organizations that can help you access these resources. There's, there's lots of opportunities there. Just go for them. As a single mom, I was able to give my children the best education that I could give. That is satisfying to me. And do not really be afraid of challenges. It's, it's, they're just part of life. I encourage that person who is still there looking and thinking, it is over for me. You are actually, you've actually come at the right time. This is the best time for an African entrepreneur to come and begin.